Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome. Um, I'm Dr. Wright, and I want to go through uh, lipedema and lymphedema, kind of compare and contrast them to try and help us better understand both and how they're related and how they're different. Um, and so this is a this is a, a talk I prepared for the American Venus and Lymphatic uh, Society. And so uh, I, I think it gives some um, good good comparisons uh, to help us better understand the, the uh, diseases. I have no relevant disclosures for this. So what's lymphedema? Uh, lymphedema is a disruption of the lymphatic flows because of obstruction or absence of uh, structures. And what's lipedema? Uh, so it's a progressive uh, connective tissue disease that affects the hypodermis. Uh, or subcutaneous adipose tissue of the extremities. It causes pain, tenderness, and swelling in infected areas. And untreated uh, lipedema can uh, lead to lymphatic impairment and disability. So lipedema um, versus lymphedema. So lipedema it, it is that progressive connective tissue disease uh, in the extremities. Um, and... Um, and uh, lymphedema is the disruption of the, of the flow, as I just kind of mentioned. So that's how we, uh, but it affects uh, the dermis and the hypodermis. So in comparison, um, you know, again, we kind of emphasize the lymphatic uh, flow is, uh, is um, obstructed in, in lymphedema. But um, in lipedema, the um, Initially, actually, the lymphatic flow is increased, and then it may become impaired later. Um, so, uh, in the the legs um, are often affected, uh, or limbs are often affected. Uh, in lipedema, they're symmetrically, so they will always affect both legs, and if it affects the arms, both arms. Whereas uh, lymphedema often affects just one limb, or um, is is certainly asymmetric, uh, affecting one one or two limbs more than others. Um, in lipedema, the hands and feet are spared, and in um, in uh, lymphedema, they're often affected. Um, uh, in primary lymphedema, they, it all it always starts in in the feet or hands. Uh, um, so lipedema, most lipedema it, it appears to be genetic. And most lymphedema is acquired, though there are some uh, primary genetic causes. Um, the, uh, <clears throat> again, we already kind of touched on um, the, so the lipedema just affects the subcutaneous tissue, whereas the whole skin is involved in the, um, in the lymphedema. Um, so there's excess fluid and bound to glycosamine glycans, um, which are sugars and 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 the uh, sub, subcutaneous tissue that, and um, and then in lymphedema they're both they're also bound but they're also is free fluid um, that that's that uh, uh, sits in the in the infected limbs. Um, so female uh, lipedema is almost exclusively in females, and um, lymphedema uh, both men and women are affected. Uh, those are still a female predominance. Um, um, and most, um, again, most uh, women with lipedema have a, a female relative affected. Um, there's uh, um, resistance to weight loss uh, in the affected tissues in lipedema, and, uh, and then just uh, primarily in affected limbs in lymphedema. Again, the stemmer sign is usually negative in lipedema and usually positive in lymphedema. So this is uh, this is one of my favorite uh, uh, slides and shows a, shows how the lymphatic system works. So everybody learns about the arterial venous circulation, um, where that's a closed system, um, comes uh, blood's pumped through the heart, to circulates through the arteries, and then uh, returns through the veins. The lymphatic system is an open system where uh, the um, the just the uh, Tissues create lymph, uh, all cells are creating lymph, and that's filtered through the lymphatic capillary network. 
um, and to lymph nodes. Now, this this is these are um, sch schematic drawings of, of lymphangions, which uh, are sort of, sort of self pumping um, um, vessels uh, that 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 transport the lymph, um, and then it's also helped by by movement. Um, so those are those are the principal driving factors for uh, lymph, and um, so. Um, so the causes of lymphedema, um, so the cause of, there's, so Dr. Dean, uh, at OSU did, um, a study, uh, looking at, at, at causes of, of, of patients with, who presented with lymphedema to his clinic and about 13% were primary lymphedema, but the most common cause was actually chronic venous insufficiency. And then cancer-related uh, uh, treatment with related lymphedema was um, the, the second most common. Uh, and then uh, obesity or lipedema were, was uh, um, the fourth most common cause of lymphedema present into the clinic. So I want to go into four possible causes of lipedema. So lipedema, um, the, we, we don't exactly know the cause of, uh, of lipedema, but we have research is giving us some clues. And one, one really exci exciting and interesting is the, um, um, because uh, it has to do with hormones. And we know lipedema tends to, um, the onset tends to be when uh, with hormone changes, puberty, pregnancy, or menopause. Um, and so we do, uh, so a hormonal uh, cause, or at least cause of some types of lipedema um, is, is very enticing. Um, Dr. Uh, Michelini um, uh, um, in Rome, he uh, did some research and, and found a, a a, a, a family uh, with lipedema that had an alpha alpha keto uh, reductase gene deficiency, and they had uh, classic lipedema. Now, this um, so alpha keto aldo keto reductase um, is responsible for metabolizing progesterone, and progesterone is the hormone of pregnancy. Uh, it causes uh, fat. Uh, accumulation and swelling, um, so it is uh, it is a very uh, enticing uh, idea that this could be uh, the cause of, of of many types of lipedema. Um, there's a uh, a a group out of Australia that looked at uh, the adipose uh, cell biology and found significant differences in gene expression and uh, lipid metabolites in uh, in the uh, adipose cells um, and uh, and tissue cell and I'm going to sh show a little more about that uh, there's also uh, there's also a lot of loose connective tissue um, changes seen in lipidin patients there's uh, an increased hypermobility um, and then um, uh, Dr. Herbst and um, Michael Schwartz um, published a paper uh, showing that they the tissue um, of uh, lipedema should, has increased interstitial spaces and uh, and uh, leaky vasculature. Um, so I'll show you a little bit more about that. And then uh, a fourth uh, possible thing is the microvascular inflammation. And uh, there was just a um, um, paper recently um, in the last uh, last couple months that showed that there's um, um, increased uh, platelet transcriptome are there's changes in the platelet transcriptome in in uh, women with lipedema. There, we've also seen uh, uh, um, Krupa also uh, just published some, uh, some increased perivascular mas ma macrophages, um, and then we've seen uh, alterations in uh, platelet factor four, which are all um, vascular. Uh, these are all vascular. Um, uh, changes um, seen uh, in lipedema compared to women without uh, lipedema. So this is the alpha keto uh, reductase gene. Again, I, as I explained, um, it's it's a key um, to the metabolism of progesterone. 
And this uh, shows the um, uh, the growth, um, uh, cell growth, um, and it's quite significantly different from in, in lipedema uh, tissue. These are uh, stem cells uh, harvested from lipedema tissue, and they they multiply um, quite um, uh, quite robustly compared to uh, non lipedema uh, stem cells. This is that. Uh, this is a you know, photo of the uh, tissue. Um, this is H and E stain of a, a biopsy um, from the thigh of um, a, a woman with lipedema, and you can see here uh, this is uh, that there's um, well the, the these are dilated vessels. You're going to have to uh, take my my word for it because they um, you may not look at a lot of vessels, but this is uh, these are quite quite enlarged uh, uh, venules in in the dermis and. Um, and also, you can see um, that there's a lot of space between um, the the tissue here in this uh, stage three lipedema. This is um, this increased uh, interstitial space also uh, may may uh, be pathogenic in um, this, uh, uh, so leading to the swelling and accumulation in the um, in the legs of uh, one with lipedema. And then this is a heat map showing the transcription of um, of the platelet uh, uh, ge uh, genes um, in um, just uh, lipedema versus obesity. And they're, they're just quite different. Um, um, there's uh, many genes are turned on uh, in obesity that are not turned on in lipedema. And then they're, uh, on the other side, there's genes turned on in, in lipedema that are not uh, in obesity. So, so complications and uh, uh, so complications of lipedema are immobility, disability, um, um, secondary to the uh, immobility or and or pain, um, secondary lymphedema and orthopedic changes uh, because it does put extra stress on the uh, lipedema does put extra stress on the hip and knee. Now that contrasts that with lymphedema. Um, it also can cause immobility and disability. Um, but the primary complications of that are infection. Uh, cellulitis is the biggest, and you can actually get uh, uh, cancer. In, uh, there's a because the the area where lymphedema is is um, the and lymphatics are so important to the immune system. There's an increased risk of cancer developing in infected limbs. So. It's a relative uh, um, immune deficit in, in areas of lymphedema. This is how uh, lipedema looks as classic column legs um, and, and cuffing at the ankle. Not every lady with lipedema uh, looks like that. So there's some, this is a lady with um, stage three and she has lobules on a lobular thigh. Um, and uh, and uh, the column also over the knees. Um, but um, so that's a classic look of, of lipedema. Um, this is uh, actually uh, obesity and lymphedema. Here. So you can see here the foot is affected. You can see the hump, the dorsal hump of the foot. And, and, uh, and then uh, they also have uh, cuffs and lobules, but, uh, but um, the whole skin, you can see there's a texture change. There's uh, hardening of the skin is uh, the skin surface is rough and uh, that's consistent because of fibrosis in the skin um, and uh, and and now this is bilateral lymphedema here on on the left but over here on the right it's just unilateral just the foot just one foot is involved one leg is involved uh, and so and that's early on. So in conclusion, lipedema and lymphedema have many similarities uh, in their clinical presentation, but uh, there are significant differences in the biology and physiology. And more research is needed to better understand um, this, uh, these conditions. So, um, if, uh, so thank you for your attention. I, ho uh, I, hope this, uh, I hope this was helpful and... Um, and uh,
and uh, we'll be recording more.